All right, here we are next day. The gel coat in the mold has been allowed to fully cure, no problem. I did go ahead and go into the corners with a little bit of extra gel coat just to thicken them up a little bit. Not too much at all, just one more thin coat just in those corner areas there just to help strengthen it up. But we are in really good shape now. You can see here I've already got some fiberglass laid into the mold at this point. I just cut it out to the shape or thereabouts. It's not, not perfect, but it doesn't have to be perfect in this case. So I just cut it out into the general shape and we are now going to go ahead and wet this fiberglass directly onto the unwaxed white gel coat underneath. Now I'm going to do two layers of the fiberglass just to get it strengthened up real well. I'm not real worried about, uh, about the edges around here being higher than the mold or anything like that. Uh, this is again just a very temporary mold and the shape that I'm interested in is the outside, not necessarily the inside, because this is not gonna be the final flare. This is just gonna be the one that I'm gonna refine from the outside. Make sure the outside is super clean and all the edges are perfectly matched and everything. And then once this is all clean, we're gonna make a new mold of this one, like I said. And then that flare that we pull out of that will be our final flare that we'll actually be putting on the car. So let's go ahead and get started mixing up some polyester resin. It's pretty much the exact same procedure as it was when we put the, the fiberglass on top of the gel coat. Same thing, uh, except for in this case, I just laid it into the, the mold without doing a, a sticky base coat. You don't really need it in this case since it's not gonna be moving around on you. It's gonna stay in one place and I'm doing it uh, you know, while it's laying on the ground. So it's not gonna be falling off anywhere or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and saturate all of this with the fiberglass resin and we should be good to go. Let's get started. Okay, so about three hours later now, we've got both layers of fiberglass fully cured at this point. Really nice and hard, that's gonna be solid. So at this point we can now go ahead and get ready to take this thing out. I'm just gonna take a knife or like a sharp putty knife, go around the edge, that's gonna be the best way to do it. Kinda of start from one of the corners, don't try to pry too hard or you do run the risk of cracking it even if you do have a really solid mold and a solid fiberglassing through the back. Definitely wanna be careful, take your time with it, a little bit at a time, work your way around the edges and get it to kinda of pop up and then you can eventually just kinda of dislodge it as you go along and uh, that should be it. So let's try and take this thing out and see what it looks like on the other side. See what kind of repairs we're gonna need to make. All right guys, here it is. Here's our first flare right out of the mold. Here's the mold itself, obviously. And here is the positive pull that we just did. Now it's looking like it's got a really good shape to it. A little bit of warping in certain areas that we'll just have to correct. Iron out with a little bit of body filler and stuff. And then of course the rising and stuff that we had talked about before as we looked into the mold but man this is looking awesome it's looking really good definitely going to be something that i'm able to fix up real nice here's all the uh all this stuff out here is all the outer edge that we're going to end up cutting off with the dremel and then we're going to sand all this down really nice so that it's super smooth just do our body filling and any sanding any other sanding that we need to do just to get it all fixed up perfectly and this thing is going to be absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful Gotta go ahead and fill in just a little bit underneath here. We don't want too much of a lip under here because the tire is gonna tuck right up under there. But then we'll just straighten out this edge right here, get all this, this rising and stuff all taken care of, get the lines all nice and sharp and super clean. And we are gonna be in good shape for our driver's side rear flare. Very excited guys, this is looking fantastic. Let's move on with our refining stage at this point. So about an hour into the refinement process, we've just done sanding only, we haven't done any body filler yet. We're already starting to look a whole lot more like what we sculpted here. It is looking good, looking really good. And I actually already test fit it on the car just briefly and things are lining up correctly, which is a really good sign. What I wanted to definitely hit with the sanding first is this line all the way around. I wanted to make sure all the lines were real nice and straight and clean. Didn't want any overhang or anything like that to throw me off when I tried to fit it on the car. And uh, happy to say that I was able to get those lines down real nice and even sharpen them up a little bit better than the, even the sculpt was. So that's a really good thing. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and just do like a full body filler layer over this entire thing. There's so much that needs to be filled and needs to be corrected. There's lots of little holes and stuff like that. Like here, there's a little hole. Um, just, a, just a ton of stuff that needs to be fixed and a lot of brush strokes and little dips and things like that. So I'm just gonna end up doing a glaze over the entire thing pretty much with the body filler and then re-sanding the shape back into the whole thing. But so far, it's looking awesome, looking really good. Cannot wait to get this thing all done 
and get it on the car along with the other ones of course but so far so good guys let's get back to it all right guys here we are actually about a week after that last clip <laughs> just been a hell of a time i caught a bad cold like the day after that last clip and work got hella busy again and i've uh, just been having kind of a hell of a time but the project is moving forward so that's a good thing you know it's a little bit slower progress than i had hoped but it is what it is you know in my line of work I'm around a lot of kids and a lot of people that come in sick and all that. I'm a barber, and uh, you know, so I get sick occasionally, and it just it just knocks me the hell out. And uh, you know, especially being out here with like a lot of dust and stuff, doing sanding and refining and trying to do all this when you're sick, it's just no fun at all. So if I haven't been in bed or at work or you know, doing whatever else I need to do, uh, I've been out here trying to get this project going because I'm I'm still so excited about this and uh, making good progress on it at this point. I actually am now to the point where I'm ready to apply several layers of primer onto the first flare that we pulled. I've had to do so much refinement on this thing, it was ridiculous. There was a couple of other areas that uh, had warped in the mold and I had to correct those with body filler and with heat and bending it back and stuff like that. And uh, I didn't apply the gel coat thick enough when I went in and made it in the mold for the first time so I just had so many little holes and stuff popping up as I was sanding it to get it back into the correct shape and all that so it's taken a few days the few days that I've been able to come out here and get get some hours in on this thing to really finally get it into the smooth proper shape that it is that it's supposed to be as I sculpted it so I'm at the point now where I'm, I'm ready to start putting some primer on it and really doing the final stages of the refinement but I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now so here's the current state that the flare is in right now should be able to see just how much dust is everywhere. My garage is just a dust bomb at this point because of all the sanding I've had to do. But yeah, you can see, look at look at how dirty. And it pains me to see how dirty my Z is, just how dusty it is in here. But I guess that's the name of the game. We'll get them all washed off and looking real good. But uh, so here's the flare in its current state. This is silky smooth at this point, really nice. We got that perfect curve back in there. And we got the edge beveled really nicely. Uh, the only thing that I really haven't done yet is redefine the, the rivet mounting points, which I will do after the primer and stuff is on during my final sanding procedure. I'll get those looking real nice. But yeah, it has taken a lot of work to get this thing uh, ready for primer and ready for its new mold. It was just warped really bad up in this area right here. You can see where this big patch of body filler is. It was warped in quite a bit right there and a couple of other areas right here it was warped in. Over there it needed some, you can see it needed a lot of body filler, but uh, you know, it's in good shape at this point. It looks like shit right now, but <laughs> it's actually not. It's actually really smooth and ready for primer. You can see all these dark patches right here. These are actually where, as I was sanding it back down to the original shape, it actually went through the gel coat and down into the fiberglass underneath. And that was just a pain in the ass, let me tell you, because every time I'd get through the gel coat, it would create a little hole, a little hole down into the, into the fiberglass. And I'd have to go in with body filler to fill those little holes. So you can see all these little, these little spots right here that have body filler, these little dots all around here. Those are areas that actually went through the gel coat where there was an air pocket or something like that that had to be filled with body filler and then sanded back down. There must have been about a million of them on this damn thing. It was ridiculous, but got it taken care of. It's looking a lot better at this point. I'm very happy with it. Fitment is looking on point for sure. I got everything lined up uh, pretty approximate. It's just got some masking tape holding it up right now. So it's, it's actually gonna be fitted a little bit better than it is right now. But uh, for the most part, 95% on the fitment right there right now is great and so I'm gonna take this thing off the car and I'm gonna probably do about uh, at least four layers of primer on this thing I went to the store picked up some new primer right there some filler primer and I'm gonna do about four layers to really get it all thickened up and then I'm gonna re-sand down the whole thing get those rivet mount points detailed get them all properly spaced out again and all that because I did lose a little bit of the spacing with the body filling and all that and then yeah, we'll uh, get the thing back on the on the car in the exact position that I want it. And then uh, we'll make some symmetry ribs and we'll start sculpting the other side. I'm gonna move over to the other side real quick so you can see that I did go ahead and 
mask off the other side and, and fix the polyurethane flare base on there just in preparation because I'm so eager to get the other side going at this point. I'm so, I've been working on this damn side for like the last week and uh, I just wanna move on with this project. I wanna drive my Z again, it's driving me freaking nuts. And I'm not sure if you guys can see, but this is, this is literally how much dust is on my Z right now. <laughs> this is, it's ridiculous. So he needs a really, really nice bath, nice wash. Can't wait to get him out of this garage and and uh, get them washed, it's gonna be great. So anyways, that's where I'm at. So sorry about the lack of videos for the last week. Just been sick as hell, like I said. But uh, the project is moving forward and I will keep you guys updated. I'm gonna take it off the car right now and get the primer going, get the primer situated and uh, keep you updated as I go along. All right, so next day now, we have three layers of primer set onto the flare at this point. Looking really nice now that I see all one solid color. It really helps to make all the detail and everything really pop out. I'm really happy with the shape of it, with the way it's turning out, the way it's looking. I'm gonna go ahead and sand this down at this point. Uh, probably just sand it down so that I could just barely see a thin layer of the gel coat underneath, just to get everything smoothed out and ironed out really nice. And then uh, once the sanding and all that is all taken care of, I'm gonna go ahead and finish building the, uh, the inside side area right here. I didn't so much bother about that, during the refining stage before the primer because I, I intended on doing that after I had it properly fit on the car so that I was sure that it would go on nicely without hitting any, uh, having any obstruction on the sides as I applied it to the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that after I get it all sanded down and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the car, get it secured really nice in the exact position where I'm gonna end up putting it on the car and then we'll start making our symmetry ribs to start sculpting the other side. Sorry about my sexy, uh, sick voice here. <laughs> this is the next day and my cold is getting progressively worse. I've had it for about uh, five, six days now and it's still not letting up, so I do apologize about that, but should pass in a couple of days. But anyways, I'm gonna get to sanding and then we'll uh, put it on the car and finish up those side areas and start making our symmetry ribs. All right, back in the garage now. We have got the primer sanded down really well at this point really good I was able to actually refine the shape even better so I'm loving the shape a lot at this point I really like it this is the final shape guys this is what it's going to look like of course it still looks really splotchy and patchy because it's you know still the prototype we are going to end up making a new mold and uh, producing a brand new one of these flares but this is absolutely the final shape that I'm happy with I did go in and tighten up all those little rivet mounting points right there so let me try and focus on this so you can see some of the detail in there but you can see I went ahead and went along the entire thing and just sharpened them up really nice got them all pretty much approximately the exact same size I went ahead and used this little handy bit right here for my Dremel uh, is this the one no not this one um, that's basically like this it's it's pretty much the same size but it's actually for uh, grinding for sharpening uh, stone tools and stuff like that but it's basically this I use this and I just use my Dremel to get it in there and then form the uh, form the shape of the of, of each mounting point and then I just went ahead and hand carved the rest of the way all the little detail with like a little hand carving tool and that's how I was able to achieve a nice sharp uh, professional looking appearance on those little mounting mounting points you know it's all in the details it's important even the small stuff I was also able to come in under here and really tighten up this curve so it's nice and perfect there's no weird uh, weirdness going on in that curve under there it's perfectly all round really nice and then I also did go ahead and build the uh, the inside parts as well inside the wheel well so those are really nice everything's super clean this is the final shape of the rear flares for Project Xylus guys. I hope you like what this looks like. I'm loving it. Now what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm actually gonna go ahead and do one more primer over the top of it. And uh, that's just to basically, first of all, make it look better. And also just to help to smooth it down one more time. Just in case there's any little dips or anything like that, the filler primer is just gonna do one final fill on all of it. And then I'm gonna just very lightly sand the top. I'm not even gonna go down into the gel coat or anything with it. It's just gonna be like one layer of primer over it just to get it to one color. And then I'm gonna take like a super fine grit 
a foam sanding block like this and just do one final sand over the top and that will be it for this prototype flare. Then it's going on the car. Uh, I'm not going to actually rivet it to the car yet, but I'm, I'm going to actually uh, put it on there in the exact position. You can see I've got my tape and everything so that I'm protecting the paint when I get it on there, but I'm going to use really strong tape to really mount the sucker in position so that it is exactly where it's going to go when it's actually riveted to the car for real and then we're gonna build our symmetry ribs because we're gonna get started on the other side. We're gonna move forward with this flare project. It is looking dope, it's taken a long time. Sorry about how long it's been taken. Uh, we didn't get very many videos up the last week, but we're moving forward guys. This is looking dope. Let's get some more primer on this and then we'll get it on the car and start making our symmetry ribs. Let's go.